Caltrain is rolling into the future. Today we got to look at its first new electric trains. Transportation and political leaders were there to celebrate this achievement in an ongoing electrification project. Here's NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith. With a sleek look and design, two new trains were in San Francisco today at the Caltrain station. What's happening here today is the culmination of uh, what are decades of hard work to bring electrification to the peninsula. And this is the next milestone in a project that brings these beautiful trains to the peninsula. Michelle Bouchard is Caltrain's acting executive director who joined political leaders and others who are part of the effort. It will be a transformation in their rider experience. Uh, the interior of the trains will provide uh, benefits like plugs and Wi-Fi and enhanced passenger information, uh, but they'll also be able to get places much more quickly. It will also allow us to provide more service in a much more efficient way. There are baby changing stations in the bathrooms, trip information on digital displays, and much more. Caltrain has received four trains so far. Bay Area Congresswoman Jackie Spear was on hand. They were made in America. And when you make it in America, you make sure everyone makes it in America. There was 30,000 jobs that have been created in the, on this project. It's about a billion dollars worth of federal dollars invested here. Our first set of train cars for our new electrified railroad. Riders boarding the familiar diesel trains today say they're hopeful about an improved experience from what they're used to. It gets me from point A to point B, but it's like I said, it's loud when I do ride it, like a lot of train vibrations and stuff. So hopefully the electric ones are like the electric cars in the road, which is a lot quieter. I believe that it will reduce the uh, impact on the environment. Caltrain broke ground on the electrification project five years ago. The first train was delivered in March, and with each step, leaders keep looking ahead. We're really hoping to bring this benefit uh, as soon as 2024. Christy Smith, NBC Barrier News.